Hey guys, it's me Jello Pineda and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a closer look on the Air Jordan 3 Flyknit. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And if you're new here, please make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you're here already, thank you very much for sticking with me. First and foremost, I would like to vouch and thank the seller of this pair, Mr. Kenneth Go. I've been looking for this pair and I know it's been sitting in some outlets like in the Laguna. I was really on the fence in copying this sneaker. Because these are the sneakers that... Parang medyo hybrid na konti. Nilagyan na ng bagong technology pero same old silhouette. Pero nung na-realize ko yung, like, nung pinakita sa akin ni Sir Kenneth, yung the details of the sneaker, I was amazed. And uh, and I copped the sneaker. And I, of course, I got it for under retail. So thank you very much, Sir Kenneth. So more deals to come in the future. So let's go ahead and check on the sneaker. Now, honestly, the first time I saw these, this reminded me of the Jordan 4 cost. Ganun yung mezo itchura niya para sa akin. So that got me thinking, sabi ko, even if it's flyknit, it's not the usual leather na ginamit sa mga Jordan 3s. I wanna take a chance on copying the sneaker and see how, how they feel. There were already Jordan 1s that were released that were already flyknit, so yung mga bread, yung mga royals, uh, shadows. Actually, mezo marami, and no una, mezo, they were hyped up a little. Uh, because of the colorway, pero uh, and dami ko nakikita they were sitting on shelves sa uh, mga outlet stores for super less than retail. So, dun ako, siguro dun medyo na-turn off yung tao na and dami kasing production eh. Siguro if these were a little limited, probably mas lumaki yung hype behind the sneaker. Pero since I got them on hand, I can say na good cap, good decision. Hindi ako nagsisisi na kinuha ko na siya. Although there are some things in regards to the fit that I will talk about in the latter part of videos. The colorway of the sneaker is black anthracite. It's more of like a darkish gray color than black. At least ito, medyo makikita mo humihiwalay ng konti yung gray parts ng flyknit. The, the entire upper of the sneaker is made out of flyknit. Moving up dito sa laces, you have this uh, wax laces that gives the sneaker a little more pop. Kung baga meron siyang konting shine, medyo makikita mong humihiwalay ng konti yung kulay. Kung baga nag-stand out siya. Which is a good touch and I've been looking for wax laces uh, for my Jordan ones. Kasi parang bagay eh. Moving up dito sa tongue is you have this still made out of flyknit. And it has the, the Jumpman embroidered or debossed dito. Na may, very subtle, hindi mo shadow makikita. But it's still there. Now the lace loops were changed into a glossy kind of finish. Even the lace holes dito, mezo may pagka glossy finish din sila. Now inside the sneaker, you have this full leather sock liner in black. And you will see there the Jumpman logo dito sa loob. Continuing back on the sneaker is you have this Jumpman logo dito sa heel part niya. And the difference this time is naka-expose ang buong area ng back tab niya. Unlike yung mga regular na Jordan 3s na ito nakapasok to sa elephant print. Mukha siyang cost talaga. Lagi, hanapan mo ng dalawang X dito sa likod. Continuing down on the elephant print, ang ganda ng pagkakamimik nila ng elephant print using, fl using flyknit. So, kuhang-kuha naman niya ang elephant print. And even dito sa toe box. Nike did a good job mimicking the original Jordan 3 with Flyknit. Two thumbs up to this sneaker. Moving down dito sa midsole is you have this glossy finish midsole. But on the lower part of the midsole is flat black. It still has that air unit here. Sana ginawa na lang nilang green to, no? Ibig sabihin para yung medyo, medyo gantong pagkaka-green. Para meron nakikita sa loob. Just, just my personal opinion. And then of course, moving down to the outsole is you have this glow-in-the-dark outsole that has a Jordan logo on the heel part. Look. Ooh. And now my overall thoughts on this silhouette. Let's talk about the pros first. Since it's flying it, less creases. And then of course the colorway itself, it's black anthracite. Ang bangs lang nang dating niya for me. Eh. Alam mo, pag na flash ng ilaw, makikita mo pa rin talaga yung Jordan 3 na silhouette within the flying construction. Now let's talk about the fit. My true to size is size 10. And for Jordans, I always go with 10.5 to 11, depending on the silhouette. I first had the Jordan 3 that was the powder blue colorway before. It was a size 10. Pag nakamanipis ako medyas, sobrang sakto lang niya. 
So ako naman naisip ko dito, since this one is a size 11 and I, I'm a size 10, kung leather na Jordan at 10.5 siya and I'm wearing thin socks, good siya sa akin. Pero kung nagmakapal ako medyas, masikip na naman. So ako naman, I always want some uh, a little more uh, toe room dito as Kung if, if you've been watching my videos for, for a while now, alam nyo na gusto ko may konting space dito. Ayoko na sobrang snug. I figured kung size 11 ang kinuha ko at makapal ako magmedyas, saktong-sakto lang siya na meron pa siyang konting, konting, konting space dito which allows my, my toes to move a little. At the same time, di ko naman siya pang basketball More of pang lifestyle, pang pasok sa office. Yun lang, naman, yun lang naman yung purpose ko talaga sa kanya. But then again, this fits true to size. Yun yung masabi ko. This fits true to size. Um, since it's flyknit, it's more stretchable pala. It has more room inside than yung mga regular na leather Jordans. So if I had known that, I would have looked for something na 10.5. But still, okay pa rin to sa akin. I wear thick socks with my Jordans always. And as well as another pros is yung glow-in-the-dark sole niya. Ang cool lang niya. Like sumakay ako sa kotse kahapon. Pagkasakay ko ng kotse, tas medyo madilim. Pagkakita mo, nag-glow yung, nag yung ano niya eh. Pretty cool, man. Um, the cons. Alright, so first first con for me is yung midsole niya, yung glossy finish na midsole niya. Uh, if you've been rocking Jordan 3s before, or if you if you had the chance to rock Jordan 3s before, or, or if you kept a Jordan 3 before, alam mo na dito yung tama kapag lumalakad ka. Like meaning, ito yung unang nag-paint chip, ito yung unang... Uh, ito yung unang tumatama sa pintuan or something. Ito lagi yung ano eh. Ngayon, if this was flat black, madali sana siyang i-repaint if ever flat black siya. Eh kaso glossy siya. Secondly is, yung brush strokes nung pagkakagawa na sa akin, medyo kita yung brush strokes eh. Um, I'm not really particular with that, pero with this pair, medyo nahalata ako siya eh. So sabi ko, eh, akala ko like yung finish niya is like okay yung finish niya. Pero nagulat na lang ako, makikita mo talaga meron brush strokes. So, kumbaga parang meron siyang konting imperfection. But, you know, it's not a big issue naman. And then as well as, kahit gustong-gusto ko itong glow the dark na outsole, I can say na hindi siya ganun ka, wala siyang ganong traction. Hindi siya masyado nag-grip niya, unlike yung mga regular na Jordans. Just my opinion, and napansin ko lang naman, no big issues. But overall, I think the Jordan 3 is a very clean silhouette, and I'm I'm very happy that I have a pair. I think this one would be for something for keeps. Sa akin lang naman, for me to keep a sneaker is low maintenance siya and with the black upper flyknit material and I, I think hindi ako mahihirapan na i sneaker na to. So anyways guys, let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Do you like this pair? Were you looking for this pair no nag-drop sila? Oh, and by the way, these were released uh, these were released last year, August 2018 for $200 retail and now they're going way below retail so alam man, for me at least, you know, for someone like me na hindi ako nakakasabay sa mga release talaga I can find them sitting on shelves I can find them sitting sa mga outlets and I can pick them up with no hassle. Uh, so it's still a good thing for me, I guess. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if bago ka dito, please make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if matagal ka na rito, tol, maraming maraming salamat for sticking with me. So anyways guys, maraming salamat for checking on this video today and I'll see you on the next video. Peace guys!